This is my tiny 100 square foot gaming slash home theater room that I just finished building. It has a full gaming setup with an ultra wide monitor and an RTX 3080 gaming PC, a 55 inch OLED TV with a Klipsch audio setup, two motorized home theater chairs made of Italian Napa leather, and of course a shelf to feature a bunch of my nerd stuff and movies. I just moved into a new house and I needed a space where I could relax and unwind from filming videos here in my upstairs office but the only room that was unused was this tiny 13 by eight foot electrical room. So I drew up a few plans in Fusion 360. I put in the walls and ceiling with a bunch of help from my dad. And three weeks later, I had this awesome man cave that has everything I'll ever need in it. Let's start with the gaming desk and then we'll make our way back through the room. The desk itself is an executive desk from Williston Forge that I got from Wayfair. It has a very industrial look to it, which was the theme that I was going for throughout the room. It's got a few drawers for storing stuff and the top is the perfect size for fitting both my 34 inch ultra wide and my gaming PC. The ultra wide is a gigabyte M34, the flat model, not the curved one. And I'll leave links to where you can find all of this stuff in the description below. I used to have that 49 inch Samsung super ultra wide, but given the size of this room and the minimal amount of space that I was working with, it just kind of wouldn't fit in here. Thankfully, this monitor is just big enough to give me a nice and immersive gaming experience at a higher resolution than that super ultra wide was that I had. Colors are fantastic, it's nice and sharp, and I have it mounted directly to the wall behind it to clear off the desk. Attached to the top of the monitor, I have my BenQ screen bar that I've had for a few years. It does a great job lighting up the desktop below me at night and taking the strain from a bright monitor off my eyes since I did paint the room a very dark color to keep it consistent with that industrial cozy vibe. Below the monitor is my mechanical keyboard of choice, the Keychron Q1. This isn't actually a wireless keyboard, I just kind of removed the cable so it looks all nice and neat for the camera, but it is a very nice keyboard for the price. All metal design, very clean look, and decent Gateron Phantom switches inside that are hot swappable. The mouse is a Logitech G305. I've used this model of mouse for years and years and I just absolutely refuse to switch to anything else. It's super light, it's got no latency, and it's cheap easy recommendation. The other accessories I have on my desk are actually for my D&D sessions that I run. I've got a Shure SM7B plugged into an Elgato Wave XLR module and an Elgato Stream Deck Mini for changing up voice filters on the fly. Then there's the gaming PC that I built at some point last year. It's got an RTX 3080 GPU, 32 gigs of RAM and an Intel Core i7-11700K. The CPU is liquid cooled by the Corsair H150i Elite, and I'm glad that the CPU stays nice and cool, but man alive between the 3080 and the i7, this PC is one hell of a space heater. Playing games for a bit just heats up this 100 square foot room so, so fast, to the point where I'm just considering not installing the electric heater until the middle of winter. The case is a Corsair 4000D Airflow, which looks awesome awesome in this room with the triangular vented faceplate and the RGB fans behind it, and I'm really glad it's got a tinted temper glass panel to cover all of my shoddy cable management. It's not the highest end PC that I could have possibly built, but it is perfectly matched to this 34 inch 1440p monitor. I can play pretty much anything on it maxed out, and it's lovely. Powering my desk setup is the sponsor of this video, Ugreen, with their GAN power strip. This is a 7-in-1 outlet extension cable that has the ability to output 100 watts of power to any USB-C device through the USB-C ports on the front. Using GAN technology to keep the device cool and a fire retardant casing, this power strip provides overload, overcurrent, grounded protection, and many other security features. Now I trust it to keep my PC, monitor, and other desktop accessories protected in the event of a surge or something, but this is the kind of thing that would be perfect for a MacBook Pro desk setup, given that it could fully charge a 16 inch MacBook Pro in just an hour and a half. A single one of these outlet extenders could power your entire setup, your monitor, your laptop, your phone, and even like a, a lamp or a wireless charger or something. It's super connected 
convenient. Pick up the Ugreen 100 watt GAN power strip in the description below, and thanks to Ugreen for sponsoring this part of the video. All right, let's move on to the home theater setup, starting with the TV. This is the 55 inch Sony A80J, and in a normal sized room, a 55 inch TV ain't that big. It's nothing to brag about. But when your chairs are less than six feet away, you get the field of view of an IMAX theater. In my opinion, this is one of the best TVs for the money that you can possibly buy, right up there with LG's C1 and C2 TVs. It's an OLED TV, so you get deep, inky blacks, and the colors right out of the box are as close to perfect as I care to get. It also runs on Google TV, which I prefer to most operating systems, and the panel runs at 120 hertz with a very low input lag. So if I wanted to hook up my gaming PC to play some games, I can. The TV is mounted on the wall just like the monitor, and behind it I've got the Philips Hue Play gradient light strip to give the room more of that warm and cozy feel. It does have another very important purpose though. When it's combined with the Philips Hue sync box, the light strip will match whatever's on the screen and give the TV some really nice bias lighting. Not only is that great for eye strain at night, but it lights up the whole room and gives it a whole new sense of immersion when I'm watching a movie. It's an expensive addition to this setup, but I think it's worth it given how much it adds to any scene. Now I can live without the fancy light show, but what I can't live without is a good good audio setup. I'm not an audiophile, and some of you home theater nerds are gonna laugh at what I've got going on here, but to my ear, this setup sounds incredible. I've got two Klipsch R41M bookshelf speakers for my front left and right speakers, a Klipsch R52C center channel speaker, and a Klipsch R12SW, a 12 inch subwoofer that, and believe me when I say this, is ridiculously huge for the size of this room. When I'm watching The Expanse and a warship rockets by at full burn, the room quite literally shakes. I'm gonna need to go around and pad some of the metal objects in this room with foam to prevent the room from sounding like a rattling tin can every time something cool happens on the screen. Across from my TV are my two favorite things in this entire house. My home theater chairs by Valencia Home Theater Seating. Every single person that visits my house and sits in these chairs never wants to leave. They are ridiculously comfortable and they're completely motorized in any way you'd want them to be. They have an extendable footrest, lumbar support, a headrest that goes up and down, and they even have LED lights and USB ports built into the control panel. The armrests have these deep storage areas with linear actuators where I store some of the blankets and TV remotes, and of course there's cup holders. If you can manage to haul yourself out of these chairs, I have this industrial black shelf in the corner where I display a bunch of the Lego car sets that I build. I've got the DeLorean from Back to the Future, a 1960s Ford Mustang, and a Z28 Camaro. I also have the Porsche 911 set, but that's right up here in my office. The lighting in this room is mostly Philips Hue. I've got a Hue filament bulb in the lamp on my desk, a light strip behind my desk, a white and color bulb in this really cool looking floor lamp that I got from Wayfair, and of course there's the play gradient light strip behind my TV that I mentioned earlier. Aside from the heat generated from the gaming PC, it is the most comfortable room I have ever created, and I love spending my time down here watching movies, playing games, and just relaxing after a long day, especially now that I have little Monty running me into the ground all day. If you've got any suggestions on how I can improve either the look or the function of this room, let me know in the comments below. Hope you liked the video, thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.